Hey, what's up guys, Totally Dubbed here, and today I just want to tell you why I'll be returning my Canon PowerShot G16. Now some of you might know if you follow me on Instagram, Facebook or Twitter that I've been really enjoying to use the G16. However, there's been a fundamental flaw for me on it, and therefore it's ha made me have to say, you know what, I have to throw in a towel and uh, send it uh, back uh, to Jessup's and get a full refund. There's no sort of fix for this or any um, sort of um, a way of uh, actually fixing the problem apart from actually buying extra equipment. And the problem is the fact that this picks up a lot of background noise. And the best way to show you this is actually for listening out from the camera itself the actual uh, background noise that you hear. So I just want you guys to try and pay as much attention as you can to the background noise. Hopefully you'll be able to hear like a ch type sound. Here we go. As you can hear the audio quality is extremely good. However, it picks up a lot of uh, background noise. If you hear carefully, you'll be able to hear quite a, a lot of fuzzing. So hopefully you guys were able to hear that. There was a lot of background noise. And unfortunately for me, for someone that likes to take a lot of videos with his um, camera, this camera is just not there. I'm extremely surprised to only find one review throughout the whole of the internet that actually mentions this. Funnily enough, all the other reviewers don't actually mention it at all. It seems like people are just completely blind to what's going on. I do understand this is a compact camera. It's quite a small camera, it has a decent sensor inside, and it's actually made a camera, not a camcorder. But that said, when I went out to buy this camera, I went out to buy a camera that was versatile, a bit like the camera that's recording right now. Despite my Sony HX9, which is the one recording, is not the most versatile camera and the best camera out there by no means, uh, but for its price, at the time, it was amazing. And on top of this, the price of the Canon G16 was pretty much the same price, around £300. So I paid £300 for this camera, including the £40 cashback that you get from um, Canon. And unfortunately, I must say that I really want that money back. And I'm going to go to Jessup's tomorrow to try and get that refund. The fact that we're getting all this type of audio quality is very disappointing. We've got a dedicated video uh, button for God's sake. What is Canon thinking? Essentially, all they had to do is drop the overall um, overall gain of the uh, uh, microphones, and therefore it would solve it. A lot of people on forums, uh, namely OCN, were actually quite rude about this. They were saying, "Well, that's not that's not Canon's fault. That's your fault for actually going out and buying a camera that's a, a compact camera." We've been trying to tell you all along that if you want decent audio quality, you better get a dedicated microphone and use it for that. Unfortunately, I would love to do that, but I don't have that much time editing. I also don't have that much time um, uh, or money to spend for uh, videos I don't get paid for and I do for fun. So therefore, I don't see why I should do that. On top of that, why should a camera that's several years old, i.e. the Sony HX9, not have any, any background noise? Don't get me wrong, if you really listen out for it, the Sony HX9 also has a background uh, noise, but it's not that apparent. Okay, the sound quality of the Sony HX9 is not as good as um, the G16's one, but it doesn't matter. That's, that background noise, that hissing noise that you hear in the background is way too distracting for me. And if I ever heard that in someone else's video, I would definitely click off and not watch it altogether because it would infuriate me. And that's what's happened with the G16. On the plus side though, the G16 has been sensational other than that. So other than video recording, the actual picture quality has been sensational. Now this is not going to give it justice, but I just want to show you some of the pictures I took. As you can see, the detail is really good. On top of that, look at the depth of field. Depth of field is sensational, and this is a macro shot taken from about 1 or 2 centimeters away. So the functionalities you actually get on this uh, G16 is sensational. It's really good camera quality and I really do like it. I am no camera buff, by no means am I a camera buff, but I'm someone which enjoys um, eye candy and I must say the G16 really does provide that, really does bring out a lot of things uh, in pictures and definitely has a great, great macro um, lens. So overall, the camera is decent and um, uh, 
does great. I did talk about the video quality, but I didn't also mention why I actually went out and bought a camera. And that is the reason uh, behind um, 60 frames per second um, at 1080p. The reason I went and bought this camera and actually went and got a camera is because I wanted to shoot at 60 frames per second at 1080p for my dance videos. Yes, I do dance videos as well. Um, and I really enjoy watching 60 frames per second uh, footage. It's completely a game changer for me. But I can't sacrifice that audio uh, quality uh, and therefore, unfortunately, the G16 is going straight back. Anyway guys, I hopefully I've, I've just opened your eyes in terms of something uh, out there because I haven't seen that mentioned at all on the internet. As I said, there was only one mention of it on one review and that was pretty brief in terms of it. it they didn't try and make it a big deal and they seem most people seem like it's, it's a natural thing to get a, a, a microphone. I understand a microphone is better, I understand a dedicated microphone is great, but that's extra editing, that's extra effort, that's extra money. There's things I don't expect when I all the camera like the Sony HX9 does it off the bat. Does that mean it's a testament to my current camera? Potentially, but you can see it's already having trouble focusing, <laughs> so it's not exactly the best camera in the world. Anyway guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Definitely do let me know your comments uh, below and give me suggestions. I'll be open to suggestions. My requirements are actually quite specific. I need a camera that's portable, maybe a little smaller than this would be best. A decent lens, has zoom, uh, does MP4 at 1080p at 60 frames a second, and has a good um, uh, speed of shutter. So there's quite a lot of requirements in there, but if you can fit the bill and also obviously has good audio recording quality, then let me know in the comments below as I'll be more than willing to listen. Alright guys, I've been totally dubbed and this has been the um, Canon G16 um, overview? Rant? I don't know. Alright guys. Take care. Bye-bye.